Hello everyone, it's Mario Hernandez here from Media Current. In this Learning Bits tutorial, I'll show you how to use the YAML content Drupal module to generate demo content for your Drupal websites. Just a full disclosure, this module was written by a good friend of mine and former Media Current colleague, Stefan Lucero. I have known about the module ever since he first released it, but I never got around to using it. We do use it a lot at Media Current here for a lot of our projects, and in just a moment, you're gonna see why. If you head over to drupal.org slash project slash YAML underscore content, you can find all the details about the module. It has pretty good documentation and even examples of how to use it. The main purpose of the module is to write demo content for your website in YAML format. This makes it possible to create entities in your site with targeted content. For example, you can create nodes, users, taxonomy terms, media entities, and more. What's the difference between the YAML content and say the Devels uh, generate module? Well, the difference is that the Vels generate module creates content using Lauren Ipsum, which is in most cases can work for your site, right? If you're working on a development of a website, uh, but YAML content allows you to add more realistic content. In fact, even real content to your site. The only issue I have with YAML content is that it does take some work upfront to convert all the content into YAML format. This is a manual task. So let me show you why I decided to use this module now. Uh, if you attended some of my training, uh, you may have seen that in these workshops, we built a Netflix-like landing page using components. The movie cards you see here each represent a node in Drupal. I have been using the Devel module for the demo content, but as you can see, it's not as inviting as it would be with more realistic content. So I found this great website, which has a huge library of movies and TV shows, and I decided to use the real movie content to generate all the nodes, images, and taxonomy terms directly from the website. Just to give you a quick example of how things are coming along, I have a vanilla Drupal site running locally in which I have created two content types, one for movies and one for cast members. In addition, I have some taxonomy vocabularies that I use as references on movies and cast fields. And as you can also imagine, I have images for the movies and the cast members. So let me walk you through the process of creating each of these entities using the YAML content. Just a warning that this module does not have a UI in Drupal for you to interact with. It's all code based. So first you want to download and enable the module as you typically do. We at Media Current actually have written a couple of blog posts about these modules. So let me walk you through how to create. First, we're gonna start with taxonomy terms. Okay, so here in my project, I have a Pantheon site running locally and I have downloaded the module already, the YAML content. So inside my contrib folder for modules, I have the YAML content. The module comes with a content directory where there are some demo files for you to look at on how to create the content. And there's really great documentation and examples for each of the things that you can add into the content. Any images that you're planning on adding should be stored here. The location for the content files that you'll be creating, the YAML files, can be anything within your project, as long as you know where it is, and because that needs to be referenced when you are running the drush command to add the content. So let's start with taxonomy. If I look at taxonomy, um, the thing to know about uh, this is uh, understanding how Drupal works uh, from a perhaps naming convention, machine names, and things like that, IDs. So for uh, most things that you'll be adding, it'll be some type of entity. In this case, uh, is a taxonomy term. So that's the entity for uh, in Drupal that identifies taxonomy vocabularies. The vocabulary ID, uh, in my case, is called movie genre. And the name or term uh, within the vocabulary, in this case, is action. Then we repeat the same process again for each of the items that I'll be adding. Then going through the same process again, but this time I am using a different vocabulary. And then I am doing the same thing again, and this time for cast roles, whether it's an actor, director, screenplay, writer. In my Drupal site, if I go to taxonomy, you can see those vocabularies that we were just discussing. And let's say for cast roles, we see the same terms that we have already added. So I'm going to add a new term. 
songwriter. One of the things that I mentioned before is to read the readme that comes with it. It's got a lot of great information. Since I am using just the demo directory that comes with the module, I'm going to actually copy this command. So I'm using Pantheon's local dev. Uh, it seems to be working pretty, pretty nicely. So I'm going to open the terminal that comes with it. And this will bring me into the root of my Drupal application, right? So if you're using just a regular ddev or anything else, you could just navigate to the root of your site and you can run your drush commands. And uh, in my case, I'm just going to paste it here and I am going to run it. And we see that we created a lot of things. We'll focus on taxonomy for now, then we can go into the other entities. If I go back to Drupal and I reload the page, remember songwriter, as you can see here, is not there. But if I reload the page, we see that Songwriter is now available. Let's take a look at the movie content type and let's look at the fields. This is the part that is critical to know and be familiar with, with your own site, right? Is the fields that your entities have, in particular, the machine names. Those are the names that you will be interacting with through the YAML content module. So understand what the machine names for the fields are, but also the type of fields that they are, because these makes a difference. Uh, this is how you tell the YAML content module what type of data you are planning to provide through that module. So if we look at the movie YAML file for adding nodes of movie type under content, uh, under movie content, uh, the file names for the YAML files that you'll be creating, uh, they can be any name you like, uh, but the, they have to end with that content, that YAML. Here's how the structure of a movie node is. Everything will probably start with the entity. In this case, we're dealing with a node entity and the type is movie. So this movie type is the machine name for the content type that we are working with. The title will be the name of the movie in our case. Status, uh, this is, again, this is my first time using. So I think status means that it's published. Uh, the path, um, is where you can specify the actual path for your node. Now this requires the path auto module to also be a downloaded and enabled on your site. Then you move on into the fields. Uh, we go to the body, uh, we define the format, the value here, this pipe that you see here allows us to, our, to add multiple lines of text and paragraphs, uh, as many as we like without getting errors. And then we start navigating through the different fields. Notice that some of those say format, uh, and you'll see that in some of them, but it's, but it's not necessarily required unless the type of data is really specific to a format. Movie date, uh, since the field itself in Drupal is the type of date, it'll understand that this is a date format. I had a hard time with this one because I was putting the year at the end and that for some reason was not working, even though in Drupal, that's the format that I was using. And then the genres, this is when we start interacting with other entities, right? Like the taxonomy vocabularies. So you need to do a, a pre-process for this and a callback to do a reference of another entity on your site. And uh, this part takes some arguments. First, what type of reference you're trying to make? It will be a taxonomy term reference where the vocabulary ID is the movie genre that we just saw. And we are picking one of the terms from that vocabulary, in this case, animation. And we do the same for the movie cast. We are referencing a node in this case, because the cast is a node type of entity. So we are referencing that node type and we are referencing the term Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, this here is nice. It's got a dependency here. Basically, it's saying if you uh, that this reference basically depends on the cast YAML that we have here, which should have this term. Um, I guess this will work if if you're trying to add all of those things simultaneously at the same time. Uh, then, uh, if you put in this dependency, then uh, this YAML file, the cast YAML file, will have to have that information as well, so that it can reference uh, the node that you're creating here. Uh, and then we go into images. Now there are different ways in which you can add images in Drupal, right? One is an image field, just a plain old image, but there's also a media reference field that can be of any type. It could be image, document, 
videos, right? So in this case, I am using a media type field for the poster of the of the movie, and um, uh, is a media entity, and there is the bundle of image, right? Is a media reference of image, and the name of the image that I expect to see there is called Nemo. Then I specify the actual image field for my node, for my movie node, which will be field media image. And the callback is a file. I'm saying that I want to reference a file that is an image. And the file name is going to be Nemo JPEG. And here's the alt text for that. So if we look inside images, I should have a Nemo file. Right. So that when this content is being added to Drupal, it needs to find this file. And the same goes for the hero. So this will be when you are looking at the full node in Drupal. We repeat the process and we are saying this time the name of the file is Nemo Hero. And yeah, that's that ends the entry for for a node, right? And then we will go through the same process all over again for a different movie. The first time it's kind of hard to get all the fields, all the configuration right because you know it's the first time using it. Once you get it working once, then it's easier because you just copy and and just replacing values. If we look at the cast content, is the same thing. Content type node, uh, the type of cast, and we're just creating the same thing. And so let's see if we can add a new movie. So here I am in the movie database site and. Let's take a look at this one, Godzilla versus Kong. This is going to be a cool movie. So this is what I typically do. I looked at the movie, obviously. I uh, The information that I'm gathering is the title, when it was released, the rating, the genre, the overview of the movie, you know, the cast, right? So, and I just go from there. So, so what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to copy the last movie that I added here. It starts here. So I'm going to add some space here just to so we know when one movie starts and one ends. Okay, so I completed adding the content for the movie itself, for the movie node. And I also went ahead and added the cast content for this movie. So Alexander and Millie Bobby Brown, uh, their content has been added, including their um, photos. And now I'm going to run the command to generate this content. I am going to execute the same command as before and let's see if I got everything right. Oh, looks like I got some errors. So this is one of those things where you have to figure out what uh, what the issue is. It's something to do with the file name, it looks like. I probably made a mistake, a typo. Let's take a look under images, Godzilla. Oh, okay, so the name looks like it's different than what I specified. Let's take a look. All right, so let's do this again. All right, no errors this time. So let's take a look in Drupal. And under content, let's see, I see Millie Bobby Brown. I see the movie here, movie type, cast, cast. So if I open this, here is our movie. Here is Alexander's photo and bio. And here's Millie Bobby Brown. Cool. If I click on her name, there's a note for her with the actor as the taxonomy term. So that worked. Again, the first time is when you may have to try a few th times to add the content if you are 
if you made any typos or anything like that, you will have to kind of revisit that. Uh, read the documentation on the module is great. It does take some time at first to add this content, but the beauty is that once you have all these files with the content you want, then, you know, if you are doing development for your Drupal site uh, and you need to, for whatever reason, wipe out the database, then uh, you can quickly recreate the content just by executing a drosh command and that can save you a lot of time and not only that but it gives you content that you want and so this will help you with that so i hope this was helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video thanks bye, -bye.